Thank you so much, babe. You just gave me the idea for the video. So today we're going to talk about congruence tests. What is a congruence test or a so-called shit test? Well, women need to know whether you are a truly confident man or whether you just pretend to be. And I'm going to tell you about a couple of examples of congruence tests. I'll tell you why they're really important, what can happen if you mess it up, and then about the implications for a relationship. So first of all, you have to understand that these little tests that women give you, and I'll give you a couple of examples in a minute, a woman who's wrong for you will test you a lot, will give you a lot of congruence tests. And I'm not a pickup artist, but a pickup artist will tell you, I'll, pa I'll teach you how to pass every single one of her congruence tests, and then you can have the intimacy with her. And that's where I'm different to that stuff. I don't like lying, manipulation, deception, and making intimacy the final goal. No, the intimacy is a goal with a relationship, a relationship with a woman who you're truly aligned and compatible with, who loves you and who you love. But intimacy is just part of the evaluation and the investment process. Now, every woman is going to test you. Everyone not just the ones who are wrong for you. So this was a beautiful example that just happened a minute ago here. Fernanda and my mother were sitting in a restaurant here in the south of Germany and a girl walks by, a lady walks by and she looks at me because I'm sitting here with a camera and I'm doing something fancy. She looks at me. I look over for half a second, probably. And then my mother catches the girl, the lady looking at me and Fernanda catches the girl, the lady looking at me. And then my mother goes, oh, the way she looked at you. And then Fernanda says to my mother, oh, and he looked back. And I was like, I didn't actually look back. Well, I looked back for like half a second, but it's not like I was holding flirtatious laser eye contact. That wasn't happening. So when she does something like that, what is that? Well, that's a congruence test. She wants to see if, if women do things like that, what does she want? She wants to see if I'm going to be emotionally reactive. Whether I, one, start justifying myself and I start acting like a little bitch, or whether I overcompensate and I get angry. If I'm going to have any strong emotional reaction towards it at all. And this happens very, very, very rarely because we're highly compatible and we have an amazing relationship, but it happens every now and then. And I was actually thinking of what to talk about in this video and this was a perfect idea. Now, women don't do this consciously. They do this unconsciously. And they basically just want to ensure that they're with a man who can't be thrown off his game very easily, who's truly confident and grounded. Now, what would be a way for me to mess this up in this scenario? If she goes, oh, and he looks back, oh yeah, and then she said something else, by the way. Now, and then he gets angry when I do it, when I look at guys, which she almost doesn't do, and then she says, maybe I should start doing it. I'm like, I know she isn't going to do it, I know she's just a playful thing, but if I, she's just like, <laughs> like there, <laughs> don't kick me. <laughs> and if I were to now go ahead and start getting angry, I'm like, no, don't do that. I don't want you to look at men. <laughs> if I were to make it logical and have a real argument about it, then that would be my fault because evidently it was just a congruence test. It wasn't, it wasn't that she was actually going to do it. If you're with a lady and she actually does these things and she actually flirts with other men in front of you, break it off immediately. Immediately. Zero tolerance for that shit. Zero. Okay? But if it's a playful thing in the moment, a congruence test, like a, a perceived payback, so to speak, well, then you just, that would be a wrong reaction to get angry. Now, if I were to get jealous, I'd be like, oh, no. No, like if I were to get thrown off my game, if I were to have my serenity disturbed in any way, shape or form by that, then attraction would get decreased. And you see these things in the dating process as well. You need to understand that when a congruence test comes, there's three possible outcomes. You fail it, you pass it, or you master it. And if you master it, you can actually use it as a brilliant opportunity to build more attraction. So my reaction is just like, okay, cool, no worries. And just be teasy and fun and playful about it. Or I could even say, yeah, I can just help you find someone. There's a couple of like beta cucks over there, very handsome German beta cucks. I can help you find one of them. M maybe you'd like me to introduce you to one of them. You know, fun and playful, boom, silly, and then moving on. Now, this, the place it's coming from really matters because you can say it in a contentious way. Or you can say it in just fun, lighthearted, and playful way. But understand that you want to assume positive intent. If you've screened, if you have qualified properly, 
then there's no reason for you to assume ill intent. Don't assume that she's actually going to do that in that case, right? It's just a thing she says in the moment. And one of the biggest mistakes that men make is they take women too serious at the level of the words. The waiter to shout it very loudly here. Um, they take the women too serious at the level of the words. And they take other men too serious at the level of the words. But you have to understand that men, when we say something, we usually mean it. Women can say something and mean something completely different. You're supposed to take her serious and be respectful and appreciate her at the level of the needs, but that doesn't mean that you need to take every single word so serious. A big part of the drama that you experience in relationships, a big part of the unease and jealousy and insecurity comes from you taking the actual words that come out of a woman's mouth too serious. Now, that's not to say that you shouldn't be respectful and shouldn't respect her boundaries or any of that. Of course, you're always going to be respectful. But if she says something playful like that, understand, it's just a congruence test. That's all that is. It is just a congruence test. Now, what could be other examples of that? Let's say I'm in a bar and I have my, which I don't do in this context much, but if I have my zip pulled down quite a bit and it's quite open and she goes, oh, I think you're gay. Now, uh, for some reason, I've heard that quite a lot. I don't know, maybe that says a lot about me. I don't know. <laughs> but if she says that to me, what would be a bad reaction? How could I fail that congruence test? Well, I could start to justify myself. I could say, no, I promise, I'm not. What do you mean? No, like I would never do that. Uh, it's just like, oh, he's insecure. He feels the need to justify and explain himself. And a real man never justifies and explains himself. Nonsense. Obviously, sometimes there's a point to justify and explain yourself, but most of you guys overdo it. You justify and, oh, and explain yourself way too much. You need her to understand. You're not okay with there being a little bit of tension. I'm okay with there being a little bit of tension, a little bit of conflict. No problem. But well, you don't have to agree right now. I'm not going to crawl after you like a little bitch. It's not going to happen. Okay? So, just explaining myself, saying, No, I promise I'm not gay. Uh, uh, what? Alternatively, I could say, no, but I wish I was. Boom. Now, you, what you want to do is you want to accept and amplify the premise. Okay? You want to agree and exaggerate. You want to accept and amplify. So whatever the premise of the tease is, of the congruence test, you want to amplify it, you want to exaggerate it to such an extent that it becomes quite apparent that it's ridiculous. For example, well, yeah, actually, I just, I just got done sucking two different types of dicks in the last half an hour. Or I was just with a dude in a bathroom. And again, this is just silly, right? And this is a stupid example. And there's a million more congruence tests. And if you want to learn more about that in detail, apply for a free initial consultation call. And then we can talk about that on a personal basis. It's something that I help you with in detail in my coaching program. But again, it's just silly playfulness. It may not be this particular one. I just want to make you aware of the overall pattern of a congruence test so that you can become aware of them because I don't want you to miss out on chances to build attraction or to actually mess it up. So if I were to say, no, but I wish I was. Or you can simply say, no, no, I'm not. That's also building attraction because I'm not just fighting, oh, I'm really not. Like, you don't care whether she actually believes you or not. But if you can accept and amplify the premise or misinterpret something she says, it can build a lot of attraction. Uh, what could be a different one, Fernandina? Do you have anything else that comes to mind? A congruence test that women give to guys, a little tease, like something that happened a couple of minutes ago? Okay, let me think. What else? Well, she could tease you about your height. You say, oh, you're so short. And if you're like, no, well, how dare you say that? It's actually one of my deepest insecurities. You don't know. I go to therapy for this three times a week. No. Instead, what you want to do is, yeah, that's exactly what my mother told me. Oh, that's funny, haha. <laughs> because you make fun of yourself. It's self-deprecating. Now, warning when it comes to self-deprecation. Self-deprecation is an amazing form of humor and it can build attraction because when you make fun of yourself, that shows ultimate confidence. The danger with it is, if you use it too much, you also come across as insecure. And I'm sure you've all had that. Men who use self-deprecation so much that it's also weird, but over the course of a, an hour-long interaction, you can use self-deprecation at least once or twice. Right? One or two self-deprecating jokes over an hour, you know, for example, when she goes, oh, you're yeah, like, oh, look, look at your biceps. Oh, you, you think you work out? Or like, it doesn't even have to be that nasty. Oh, you work out? Then you can say, yeah, yeah, my calves, but I promise they're the only big part of my body. Haha. <laughs> you know? So 
that's funny and it's actually going to make her curious. You might say, well, if she thinks it's small, she's not going to want to go home with you. Quite to the contrary, my dear, quite to the contrary. It'll actually make her curious and she's going to want to find out. But I digress. So if uh, she gives you one of those congruence tests, then you need to understand that you need to be grounded in your own sense of identity as a man and not depend on her approval or her validation. Accept and amplify, agree and exaggerate. And it'll show, an, um, it'll be an amazing opportunity to build attraction, especially with the self-deprecation thing. But again, do not use it too much, but don't not use it at all, okay? So if you can implement some of these tips, your interactions are going to go a whole lot better. Obviously, this is just the tiniest tip of the iceberg. This goes a million, million miles deeper. And if you want me to help you with that in detail, if you want to find the right girlfriend, life partner or wife, because remember, this is what I'm about. This is not to pick up artist nonsense, but you do have to understand that even a woman who has, who's truly compatible with you will every now and then give you one of those. And if you fail them, this is one out of many ways that men fuck up their relationships and women lose attraction and they lose respect and it goes downhill, okay? So high quality women will test you. And if you want me to help you find somebody, a high quality woman who will test you rarely, but still do, and you wanna know how to master those in detail, apply for a free initial consultation call with the link underneath this video. Look, as I said, I've been doing this for quite some time now with men from almost 30 different countries, I believe, and Look, if you're a man, you got a good business, you got your own business, you got a good career, you just feel like the last missing piece of the puzzle is a woman who you're truly compatible with, somebody that you, you know, really click with, that you can perhaps settle down with or just travel the world with, whatever it is you want to do. Well then, let me help you with that. I wish you all the best. Take care.